Hey guys, uh, this is William with another video for Play Agricola.com's YouTube channel. Uh, playing an EIK WM France G4 G5 game with John's War, Def, and Weeds. So let's take a look at this starting pile. Uh, School Lunch Lady, very good card. Um, probably the choices here are between Trailblazer Area, School Lunch Lady, and Lord of the Manor. School Lunch Lady and Lord of the Manor being the stronger two cards. Um, with Wood and Hut Builder especially, I think uh, Lord of the Manor is very interesting because you can go for a very pretty farm but not worry about house points. Um, I think though that Trailblazer might come back. Trailblazer or Wooden Hut Builder would be okay. Uh, School Lunch Lady I think is just too strong to ignore. The ability to get an early clay oven is quite strong, so I'm going to grab School Lunch Lady. I think my next pick is Farm School Graduate. Um, Social Climber is quite good for early Reno and early Stone. Um, the rest of them are not particularly exciting. Stroller is okay. Uh, Burger Flipper combos pretty well with some stuff. I think though my pick is going to be Farm School Graduate. So that with School Lunch Lady and Farm School Graduate I'm going to play all seven occupations but not use uh, any actions to do so and I'll get a grain every time I do so as well. Alright, this pile is uh, very interesting. Uh, probably the picks are Supervisor, Master Stableman, or Gardener's Wife. Gardener's Wife gives me vegetable whenever I grow my family. Um, supervisor gives guest tokens if you have no one use spaces at the start of the round and master stableman lets you build animal build stables very easily gardener's wife the timing on it could be awkward because if family growth comes out in stage two my first act first doc will be farm school graduate my second will be school lunch lady so that means gardener's wife might come just a little bit too late to activate on my first vegetable first family growth so I think based on that the pick is between master stableman or supervisor and just because I think supervisor is a little bit stronger card even if it only gives me three actions like even if I only activate it for around 12 13 14 I think uh, it's worth it master stableman is also very good to consider mm. It also combos really well with stone with stable cards. I think supervisor is a bit better though. All right, with this pile, uh, farmer is quite good. Uh, branch collector is okay. Mendicant is very situational. Could be quite strong. Um, I think the pick here, Musketeer is okay as well. I think the pick is, oh, I should turn off the waiting for a game, game screen. Sorry about that. Um, I think the pick here is it might be Farmer. Thing is, with Supervisor, I probably want to build one room, plow three fields, and then fence 15, and then go for other points. Um, hmm. There is the Trailblazer out there, and I kind of like comboing Musketeer with Trailblazer, so I would mark the So and something else. Um, mm, I f uh, Farmer will be a boar at the very least. Mendicant is a timing occupation, which gives you an easier time feeding. I think I'm going to take Farmer. Yeah. 
even if though I'm only planning on fencing once if I do more than once uh, the farmer will pay pay me back for doing so So if you're watching this on YouTube, I did broadcast live originally on twitch.tv slash play underscore agricola. If you want to give me a follow there, you can watch me make these videos live as well as uh, interact with me in the chat. Um, also, I appreciate uh, any feedback you guys have. If you want to uh, comment on this video or send me an email, agricolaattorney at gmail.com. Um, Okay, taking a look at this pile. Um, Baker combo is really well with school lunch lady. Um, getting a grain every harvest. If I get the clay oven, I can uh, use the baker to bake the grain that I get from school lunch lady every har every harvest, so that I would play an occupation for free and then get plus three food from doing so. So that would be really good. Uh, wooded hut builder probably would be a good option. Uh, farm school graduate really likes uh, occupations that you can play at the end of the game for bonus points. Um, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I kind of like. Uh, the thing is, the timing on Baker is a little awkward. So when do I play Baker? I play school lunch lady. I play something i play farmer i play supervisor do i play baker here for the round 13 harvest and then use it twice i could do that that would be reasonable um wood hut builder would come in at the end of the game i think it's too early to commit myself to wood hut builder so i'm going to take baker because i think it combos uh, much better with my existing cards And then here, all right, here's a card that is bonus points at the end of the game. Beastmaster, Tavern Keeper is as well. Um, although with Supervisor, I probably don't want to play Tavern Keeper. Um, for the bonus points, at least. It might be okay as a, as a normal card. Um, I think I'm going to take Beastmaster here. Uh, because it would be a reasonable uh, round 14 play and might be might be worth two points uh, last final harvest play I should say tavern keeper would be okay burger flipper mm, I think Beastmaster is the pick and then here uh, we've got master baker gym trainer stone custodian so the most likely that I'm going to play. Gym Trainer would be okay, but I think the pick will be Stone Custodian. So I play School Lunch Lady, I play Stone Custodian, I play Farmer, I play Supervisor, I play Baker, I play Beastmaster. Okay, I like how that works. All right, um, so writing desk is very good, but it uh, overlaps with my farm school graduate too much. Uh, clay deposit is a very good card for raising raising your point ceiling. Um, I think the pick might be alms basket. Do I want to first pick Alms Basket? No, it's only going to be worth one grain. Yeah, I think the pick here is Clay Deposit. Yeah. Or read st or Rooster so I can read Stone Food in the first round. Hmm. I think the pick is Clay Deposit. 
and then rooster if it comes back. Having basically unblockable two point moves is quite strong. So if I do end up, you know, it raises my point ceiling. So the problem with not plowing a lot of fields and not using a lot of fences is that your point ceiling gets very low. Clay deposit um, counters that very nicely. All right, we've got punter. Um, B statue combos with whoever took the sheep herder. T Twillery's garden, I think, is quite a strong card, but um, might overlap. Like the the main thing is that it's great for getting grain and vegetable. That's I think the biggest part about it, and I don't need it for that because I'll get grain anyways. Um, fruit tree house would be okay. No, not fruit tree house. Um, I th farm stable goes really well with whoever took the uh, master stableman. Um, yeah, none of these are really jumping out at me. Hmm. I think I'm going to take, uh, could take coke stove even. Coke stove would be okay for eating some wood. Mm. I think I'll take Tuileries garden just in case. It would be okay for getting the, ch getting uh, maximal maximum vegetable points. So yeah I think that's okay punter I could take punter and finally hope that there's a plow out there I don't know I think Tuileries garden is the pick uh you know what mm. yeah okay oh there's a plow right there could well, that would have been pretty good Oh, and there's pole barns, and pole barns would be perfect with the uh, farm, or with the uh, fields guy. Okay, lots of good cards here. Plum patch, very good. Um, iron plow, very good. Uh, bread machine, very good. Pole barns, very good. Any of these cards would be excellent for me. Um, I think pole barns would be really good. It'd be two wood for three points. So that's quite nice, especially with Rooster out there. This would be a very good round 14 starting player action. Bread Machine would be very good if I didn't have Baker. So I think Bread Machine goes down, but it is still a free point. Um, Plum Patch is an excellent card simply because of the point value on it. So I think I'm going to take Plum Patch because it's a free two point action. And it works just as well on round 14 starting player as Pole Barnes does. Here, I think the pick is ceramics. Uh, with whistle, I sort of wish I, I really wish I'd started taking stable cards because uh, whistle would go nicely with those stable cards. Um, country silo, I'm not that sold on because it doesn't have a point. Bakery'd be okay, uh, except I'm probably going to bake my first couple grain rather than getting fields down and planting them. So I think the pick here is ceramics. And uh, Haystack just comes too late to, for it to be good. So loosely my game plan so far, I'm going to play Farm School Graduate in Stage 1, into School, and then School Lunch Lady, then Stone Custodian, and then Farmer, then Supervisor, um, and then Baker and Beastmaster at the end of the game. Um, Yeah, I shouldn't have taken Twillery's Garden because I can't play it even until round 10 at the earliest. Uh, I don't know. Um, 
gonna get clay oven and use clay oven to bake my school lunch lady grain and uh, bake it with the baker so that I get a really nice food engine um, yeah uh, with uh, writing desk is quite good one wood for a point and it, the ability is nice flamingo lake would be quite good if I'm not planning on starting player a lot or I think I'm gonna be after the starting player player although I know Def doesn't like the starting player that much early on in the game so I think the pick here is rooster rooster will guarantee me reedstone food at the beginning of the game which is pretty good it'll be the best by far the best action for me in round one and then here, a uh, bee statue, coke stove, fruit tree house. Not fruit tree house, not windmill, so coke stove or bee statue. Um, I'm not planning on day laboring all that often, but it blocks a combo for one of my opponents, so I think that'll be okay. Coke stove is worth a point, free point if I return the fireplace. Returning the fireplace has its own cost, though. I kind of like blocking the day labor combo, but I think coke stove might be useful for me, so it's worth taking. And then here, pole barns, easy pick. Cool. So taking a look at my hand, as I said, farm school graduate in stage one, to school lunch lady, which gives me grain whenever I play occ an occupation, and then I'll play a stone custodian for some food, uh, then farmer to help me get some animals, and then supervisor to give me extra actions at the end of the game. I'll use those extra actions for clay deposit if there aren't any better things for me to do. Um, I'll also play baker so I can bake the school lunch lady things. I'll get clay oven so that I can play power up my ceramics. And uh, yeah, probably will not play Twillery's Garden. I will play Plum, Pat, Plum Patch. I'll play uh, Pole Barns. I'll play Clay Deposit. I'll play Rooster. Looks okay. Looks okay. So I play Rooster. Rooster is a minor improvement that gives you starting player at the start of the game at the cost of making a food available or making a point available to anyone at the end of the game. So Def plays the Master Stableman, very nice card, 
uh, lets you build stables very easily and the main thing that makes it good is it makes it very cheap to get a breeding pair of animals. I'm okay with seeing this because I know that he's that I can safely pass him pole barn, so that's pretty cool. Weeds plays a very old card, the Net Fisherman. Uh, it's an okay card. Depends on taking Reedstone food or read a lot to keep the number of food on fishing low. If it gets too high and you do take read and you try to grab the free, free fish, then uh, sometimes it gets blocked. So, yeah. I've got the choice here two wood or two clay. Two clay is not enough for me to do anything that I want. It's enough for the first fireplace, but I don't think I want the first fireplace that badly. Especially when I won't get the first animals, most likely with death going after me. So I'm going to grab wood so that I can position myself to build the first room. Ideally, I get three or four clay with my first, uh, probably four clay with my first clay grab, because that'll be enough for my clay oven plus ceramics. Def plays Dragonfly Pond, so that's all right. He's passing on the starting two clay. Um, Dragonfly Pond is a point that gives you two food, and but requires only one played occupation. And John's War plays Day Labor as the last action in round one. So I'm going last in stage two, uh, but that can be okay. We'll see. I probably will end up playing Farm School Graduate or taking three wood, one of those two. Weeds will definitely read stone food here to get his net fisherman going. Um, and then John's for either three wood or free occupation, and then I probably do the other. I don't need to play, I don't need to reveal that I took farm school graduate until close to the end of the round. And I ideally would like to play farm school graduate on the free occupation space because then I only need another three food in order to get my six, which is the minimum I need for the first harvest. So free occupation is available, so I will play it. So now I'll probably value uh, traveling players pretty highly at three food next round. Probably take it with my first action. If I can, hopefully it gets to me.
bit of a slow start to the game so far so I've been turning been muting my mic um, not too much happening not too much to talk about because uh, you know no one's really shown what they're doing yet uh, John's war probably has alms basket so it might mean that I have uh, competition for the, uh, the clay oven almost definitely means I'll have competition for the clay oven uh, the one advantage I have over him is that I have a stone already, so grabbing, if I have like a three food, then four clay action next round, that would be okay. And John's Ward takes starting player, so what I will do here is I'm going to take a grain uh, with the intention of baking it when I buy the clay oven. Kind of not that good when I'm planning on getting a bunch of grain from school lunch lady, but uh, the school lunch lady, I won't get my first grain until the second the second harvest, so I'm definitely going to need to build the clay oven before then. So John grabs reedstone food here, and I'm going to take three food traveling players. So I would like to get reedstone food next round, and then, uh, so probably my second action will be four clay if it's available. Def might take it for the cooking hearth. No, he takes wood. Okay, so Def planning on building the first room. Oh, Ar Aris is in the draft. I shouldn't forget about that. Probably Def or John's war playing, f playing towards Aris, large family, and stuff like that. Hmm. So hopefully the four clay gets back to me, although John Spore will probably take it, uh, I would have to guess. But if he does take it, I grab three wood and then hopefully read stone food next round and that would be okay too. John might play, yeah, he does take the three, the four clay here. No surprise there. Uh, so you know what? I'm going to just rush clay oven like crazy. I'm going to take three clay. So John Swar could beat me to clay oven by building it next round, but if he does, he won't be able to play his alms basket first, so... I think that would be an okay outcome. If he does do it, I get reedstone food, so that'd be cool. Also, it's going to be a pretty food tight game considering that uh, there's woodworker out there. So I think getting the first clay oven, getting the clay oven would be, will be pretty important overall. I'll be interested to see what John's War does here. I have to imagine he plays uh, Reedstone Food, but it is possible that he does Clay Oven, especially with one food on the major minor space. No, nope, he doesn't. Awesome. So I get one food plus Clay Oven. I get one food from the sa space and then five from baking the grain and I have a nice amount of food already so my feeding for the next two harvests are basically set already so that's good good to get out of the way
So Def builds the first room. I imagine he took Lord of the Manor and not Eris. I would guess that uh, Weeds or John Spore has Eris. And then here, uh, I need food, I need reed, I need clay. Uh, I could starting player, what would I starting player though? Yeah, no, I'm not gonna starting player. Um, could take two wood, that would be an okay action, but I would rather get three wood and have enough to build a room. I'll grab two clay, because then I have enough to do my pottery. Uh, my ceramics plus eat a clay, so that's okay. John's War might uh, try to beat me to the pottery because he's got the resources for it right now. Not necessarily though, we'll see. Def grabs the two sheep, which I think Weeds was probably counting on getting. Uh, actually, no, he's going to get the net fisherman food, so he's okay. very light occupation game uh, farm school graduate and then um, uh, alms basket will do that John's war probably deciding he doesn't have anything he wants to play early any more than a three grain uh, minor improvement or a two grain minor improvement for free so that's that's pretty good and then I really like farm school graduate uh, it's an excellent card um, Food is much cheap, two food is much cheaper than an action, so yeah. Downside is, of course, you don't get to, you don't play as many occupations early, so my actions haven't been that good. You know, taking three clay and two clay and two wood are not that strong, but uh, it's okay. It'll, uh, the big thing is that I've done a lot of investing with my opening here. Invested in getting the clay oven invested in uh, well either way I can get rid of my six food weeds grabs two f two wood and uh, I play school lunch lady So now let's see, did family growth come out in round five? I hope it did not. I want it to come out in round seven. That's my that's my hope. Nice. It did not come round five. So I will be doing Reedstone food and if it's available, if John's War doesn't do it himself, uh, I imagine he might build here actually. It's hard to say what he'll do when looking at w weeds he does build a room so I'll grab Reedstone food very happily so hopefully my second action there's no way three wood comes back around I'm sure it won't it would be nice if it did though
but yeah, my hope is that family growth comes out round seven because uh, that means that my um, supervisor will go way up in value. So pretty much my n the next phase of the game, will, I will just be taking wood. That's all I'm going to do. Take wood, take wood, take wood, take wood. Build a room at some point, but mostly focus on taking wood. So Jeff placed farm stable, no surprise he grabbed that with his uh, master stableman. So Jeff's going to want to grab four clay and build a cooking hearth. Um, but John's where grabs a cooking hearth ahead of him. Well, I'm happy about that because that means that I get three wood and it also means that the pottery just became a lot safer. So that's pretty cool. And now I have enough resources to build a room. So Def probably is thinking about his feeding now, was most likely planning on getting the, that cooking hearth. Unless he has something else like Dove Hunter. Dove Hunter is possible, but you never know. And there's the heiress. So weeds plays the heiress, um, meaning that the family growth queue became way busier and also the build room queue became much easier. So that's good for me. Hopefully, ideally, my ideal si scenario is that I don't have to starting player to guarantee myself family growth in order, but if I do, starting player uh, ceramics into pottery first action is not such a bad thing. So I would be okay with that happening. So yeah, now I think the later family growth comes for me, the better. Well, there's family growth around five, so that's okay. It's a lot better than round five family growth, I think. A lot better for me, that is. Means that Def had to use an action going on starting player, so that's very good. I'll probably grab four wood if it's available. Um, I think John Zor will probably take four wood. He might read stone food and think about buying the well. That's definitely possible. Um, yeah, so I could take four wood. I could take three wood. not playing an occupation obviously because of my farm school graduate um, Reedstone food would be okay for me 
although I'm not re not really planning on using the third reed. Probably I'll want to reno once. Maybe. Maybe very late in the game I might reno. Hmm, but John grabs reed stone food. That means four wood is a very easy pick for me. So a very good start for the start of the game for me. I've been uh, things have been going my way so far. So I imagine Def will grab for clay here. Although we might hope to get six clay next round. But with John's war looking like he's gonna build well. Yeah, there's the four clay. Yeah, so he's going to be building something that'll let him eat those breeding pair of sheep. And then Weeds needs a bunch of food himself. Uh, I imagine he'll take two reed here, two reed and three food. Quite nice. Um, weeds will need a ton of clay, though. He's going to need three to reno plus four. So he's going to need seven clay. Uh, means he's going to need two clay actions for sure. Unless he has some something that will give him some clay. I doubt it though. Yeah, there's him grabbing the reed, no surprise. So then hopefully I get three wood because John's war might build the well here, in which case I'd be I'd very happily take three wood. There's the well. Not terribly surprising. And I get three wood, and that's pretty cool. So Weeds is going to first action family growth here. Now he does not necessarily need to build a room. Um, or John's War does not necessarily need to first action starting player. But I think if he doesn't, I will. Yeah. If John's War doesn't starting player, I'll starting player and play ceramics. And then John's War will either have to stable block me well then John's War will have to stable block me that's all there is to it and then I'll get to grow at the same time either way because then I could uh, use the, the build room action all to myself I do have to keep an eye on weeds weeds is able to build another wood room although I don't think he's going to be able to round seven because he needs another three food, which is an easy sheep grab, but uh, John's Ward going to be looking at a sheep grab as well. So actually, I th oh, there he goes. He plays, uh, he plays Country Silo. So this is a new card. Um, it's okay. It's big letdown is that it doesn't give a point. Um, gives a grain whenever someone does the three green action space or three wood action space so pretty good the wood cost though is fairly steep and then it also means you want other people to be grabbing three wood which uh, you know isn't normally the case normally you want to be doing it yourself anyways I do not need to build room so that's pretty cool uh, so I can do just about anything else I could grab three wood, and three wood would be fine, but I could easily get that with my second action as well, I think. I think I'm going to take four f food traveling players here and try to starve the game of some um, 
starve the other players in the game a little. Not starve them, but just make it a little bit harder on them. So no surprise, John Swar has the alms basket. He has the alms basket, which gave him a nice three grain. Very good. Uh, it does come at a fairly steep cost. That cost, of course, being that you can't uh, play occupations in the first two stages. So I imagine we might see John Zwar playing a knock with his second action, but uh, he might not. We'll see. Curious to know what weeds will do here. He wouldn't mind taking three wood, but he wants someone else to take three wood instead. So. Johnswar plays Gardener's Wife. Nice. So I could take three wood, but if I don't take three wood, there's a chance I get uh, five, six wood next round. And six wood is very nice. So I could start, a, I could build a room here. Um, if I don't build a room, I probably need to build a room with my first action next round. So think I want to build a room here to leave myself leave the option open of taking a uh, I could just take three wood I don't need to be fancy could take three wood but I don't mind starting player ceramics and then pottery yeah, okay, I'll go. I don't know if this is greedy, but might be. Might be the slightest bit greedy. So, uh, I build, build the room. So I guess there's no chance for me to get six wood without um, building a room because of course John's war grabs six wood. But even if he doesn't, uh, if someone else uh, if four wood's available, I can grab four wood next round. So I think that building a room here gets me one more wood overall. I think. So long as it doesn't cost me my place in the family growth queue, that would be quite bad. Uh, I don't think Def has enough clay to do this. I think he needs to build a fireplace. Unless he's doing his two actions at once. He might be doing his two actions at once. Yeah, okay. Grabs clay and builds a fireplace. And I will play Stone Custodian. And get a green. So my stone custodian will get me at least one stone before the next harvest. So I think it's worth playing. John's War plays Cooking Corner. Oh, very cool. So this explains why he was in such a rush to get a cooking hearth because he has an excellent two-point miner 
Uh, I should say it's a two point minor because it gives him an extra two points. And then here, I take six wood. Very easy play. I think one of the reasons country silo is not that good because there's so many occupations and improvements now that give grain. Like I think arms basket is not universally but probably better than country silo. I think school lunch lady, it's, well it's an ox so it's not really comparable but yeah I think country silo, I'm not that sold on it. I think the wood cost is too great and also it, it makes stuff happen like what just happened where people get to use the uh, six wood rather than three wood. I don't know. Hard to say. Hard to say. Anyways, I will definitely starting player with my second action. Starting player and play uh, ceramics. Uh, it's possible that Def reads stone foods and then renos and plays uh, pottery. But I'm going to hope that he does not. Yeah, it's possible that Def makes that play. Oh, he plays Social Climber. Okay. Yeah, so that also gets him the stone he needs in order to build the pottery. Oh, well, it's unfortunate if I don't get the pottery, but uh, it happens. So something I'm reconsidering now is whether or not I'm actually going to play Farmer. I think probably just doing one fence action, even if it's fenced tw well. No, I probably still want to do one fence action, or two fence actions, but I'm going to do one and then one, like very late, to get another two points. I don't know. If it's the only time I take those animals, it's worth it. Mm. I'm not sure. I won't have that many actions this game. I really need to remember that. Probably getting, probably getting the three fields plowed in order to play social climber or supervisor will be slow. Like I have to plow a field each of the next three rounds in order to activate it for round 12. So will that be worth it? might not be maybe I need to delay hope for Plauso in round 12 that would be worth it I don't know I hope that Def does not play the pottery here and that he decides that getting to stone faster is more important. It's possible he does not, but we'll, but yeah, no surprise, no surprise he plays the pottery. Yeah, so that starting player was almost definitely not worth it. Um, but I guess it's possible that weeds could have built a room ahead of me if I did not so 
I, might, I probably needed a starting player either way. Def was probably playing a social climber no matter what, so uh, I didn't get pottery. It happens. So next round, what will I do with my first action? Um, I could grab three stone. A three stone would be enough for me to play the Tuileries Garden. Um, so yeah, that seems that seems very promising because if I get Tuileries Garden, then I will not mind rushing the plow action space at all. That would be quite good. So no one else can family growth. So I'm going to grab three stone here. So I would have liked the pot, like to get pottery, but I didn't. So I think this will be an okay um, secondary consideration. So my plan is I will family growth and play Twillery's Garden, and then for the rest of the game, my first priority will be to go on the plow one field space, and then my secondary goal will be to fill up my farmyard to activate my supervisor, and then my. And then after I've done that, start taking animals so that I can get some points out of Beastmaster. So here I family growth and I play Tuileries Garden. And then I'm going to uh, play Farmer. Oh, when's Baker going to come out? Oh, sh oh darn, four ox. Oh, damn. You're right. Um, I'll have to play something else. I'll play, uh, I'll just play Clay Deposit. Yeah, I would have liked to play. I guess if I get Twillery's Garden out, that's good. If I don't, uh, I'll just play Stone Oven. That'll be just as good. I'd be very happy with getting Stone Oven and Clay Oven. Probably do want to get Twillery's Garden going, though. I'm sure. Sure, it would be worth it. Do I starting player next round and play Twillery's Garden? It's a thing is it playing the act of playing Twillery's Garden is as good as taking a vegetable, but um, hopefully it'll be worth a lot more than that. Um, I still have Twillery's Garden. I still have Plum Patch. I still have Pole Barns. I want to play all three of them. So do I want a starting player three more times for the rest of the game? Like round 10, round 13, round 14, or round 10, round 12, round 14? That would be okay. Wouldn't be the worst thing to do. I don't need to play Tuileries Garden, but I think I would like to. Even if I only use it twice, it'll be a point, a grain, and and a veggie, which I th think is worth it. 
building the stone oven would be worth it as well. Uh, I don't know, it's very difficult to say. I bet Weeds has the iron plow as well. So for me to get plow ahead of him, I'm gonna have to value that action space very highly. So maybe Twillery's garden is not worth it because I'm gonna be competing with Weeds in the next round and then with everyone else probably in round 12, uh, in the next two and then everyone else round 12 to 14. Hmm. I do think I wanna get the supervisor played. If I don't build to will play Twillery's Garden, I can buy Stone Oven, and then I don't have to play Baker until the round 13 harvest, which would be pretty good. John's Worth takes starting player. And I wonder what his plan is. I'm going to play farmer here. For seventh food, and then I gain a grain. And then I guess I should take uh, what's clay deposit in? I deck. pretty happy that stone came out this round. It means that I'm going to get two food uh, a lot earlier, which is going to be more reliable, so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, so I have a couple options here. I could first action plow, or I could starting player and play Twillery's Garden. And I think I'm going to plow, because if I don't plow with this move, I might not get to plow with my second move. And then probably my third action will be to fence 12, fence 12 and get a boar. And then at some point I'll go back and fence another three and get a cattle. So maybe Beastmaster won't end up happening. We'll see. So uh, for the rest of the game, I think I'm going to need th uh, four more wood, two more for my 15 fences, and two more for my pool barn. So if I can get a four wood action, that would be ideal. Uh, probably not going to be able to get a four wood action. I guess I don't need to fence three for my extra pasture. I could just fence two. That would probably be good enough. Park Cemetery. Do I want to start taking the stone off of it? Am I going to get to a stone house? Probably not. Probably I will decide instead of going to a stone house that I'm going to build the stone, the stone oven and ignore clay for the rest of the game. So my next two actions might be something like I 
I should take a vegetable as well. So do I need defense here? Um, two, three, four, five. Probably don't need defense here. I can always fence next round. So in that case, playing stone oven here might be okay. And then taking a vegetable. Yeah, I definitely won't take the stone off Park Cemetery because I want to block weeds from getting his plow. Yeah, so that's cool. I'm okay with that. So, do I first action starting player next round? No, I don't have anything that I want to play. Probably I first action starting player in round 12 to get Plum Patch, and then starting first action starting player in round 14, Pole Barns. Yeah, those would be those be okay. There's Trailblazer for John's War. Trailblazer lets you plow a field if you have no uh, empty fields. The nice thing, of, so kind of what this does is it makes the sow action um, be a sow and then pay one food to plow generally. Um, yeah, it's a good card. I probably would have got it going earlier, but I guess he had Om's Basket to play, so. Hmm. Thing is, if I don't start in player next round, I know Def is going to, because that's the way he likes to play. Um, probably his last action, Def's last action, will probably be to Reno and play Basket Maker's Workshop. And then I imagine he'll have some reason for going to yeah, he might have Chamberlain or something like that. I really hope he doesn't, but it's possible that Def has Chamberlain. He is kind of looking like he might. So I have one more move. Uh, oh, vegetable space is gone. So I guess I'm not taking a vegetable. I'll have to take a vegetable. So probably my next round will be plow, take vegetable, so so green and vegetable. That's fine. I'm gonna get two food from my stone custodian here and I'll get another one food, maybe two food next round. I'm doing okay. Def might just be going to stone early because of his Lord of the Manor. Oh, clay deposit got taken. Okay, so I get a food. I guess that's all right. Um, here I fence. And I get a boar. Yeah, I'll first action f uh, plow next round and then f first action plow round 12 if I need to. Um, I will want to occupy that last space, so. I could play pole barns at that point as well. So would that work out? I could starting player pole barns, it would occupy the third plow space. 
I'm going to need three, five more, four more wood to do that, and I'm going to need another fence action. That's possible, but it's unlikely I do that. Probably I'll leave that fence action towards the end of the game. So death takes starting player. So the odds of me first action plowing. I mean, uh, dev might be, might have done that to take plow. It's possible. We'll see. That fisherman's been quite nice for weeds. I think uh, no one has taken it. No one's got take it gone on fishing all game, so that's been good. Net fisherman's been about as good as a food per round from round two, so that's very good. Very good indeed. Oh, Def will probably take six wood. Yeah, Def will probably he needs wood pretty badly. Oh, uh, unless weeds takes it. So now we might plow. So I think my goal for the rest of the game is thinking that Def is my biggest opponent. Probably I need to take big wood piles when they come up to try and deny Def getting those wood piles himself. John's War also needs wood. They both need wood, and I need a little bit more wood, so. Okay, we're looking okay. Not getting the pottery hurt, but not as much as it could have. Not as much as it could have. I could take sheep here. Uh, taking sheep would be a one, two, four point play. Two sheep would be okay. But I think it's likely that these other guys will need food. John's War has no food, um, although he could eat vegetables, but he would prefer not to. Um, yeah. I think John's War will starting player if Def does not, if Def and Weeds do not. Weeds need stone. I get two food from my stone custodian. And then if I'm ever running out of stuff to do, I'm just going to go on my clay deposit. So there's weeds going on plow. Yeah, so I'm definitely not going to get my uh, supervisor up as early as I would like to. That's too bad. I would like my supervisor to be useful. Might end up only being one action, which is too bad. It's a pretty decent card. I have to imagine that John's worth starting players here just because of the possibility of round 12 family growth. Round 12 family growth would be really good for everyone, not just for him. What am I going to do? Oh, he so bakes. Interesting. Well, I don't have a miner I want to play. If I did, I would start a player here, but I think what I'll do is take three wood and a food. So then my next action could be vegetable and then two sheep or clay deposit. 
depending on what's available. Oh, three wood was not enough. I need another wood grab on top of this because I need 15 fences, not 14 fences. Oh, that was silly. My actions are probably more valuable for me than the other players, so I don't know. I don't know if that was the right move. Def starting players, player and plays Iron Plow. Def is going to be really hard for wood. I'll be interested to see what kind of wood grabs he gets for the rest of the game, if any. So I can two sheep here. If I don't get two sheep, two boar, or two cattle are worth just as much next round. John's War plays Fence Dealer. Okay, that goes a long way towards allevi alleviating the wood problems in the game. That goes a long way. Um, I think I grab vegetable here, just case, just in case I get plow so at some point, so that I can play pump plum patch. Yeah, if I could have starting player to iron plow with that second move, that would have been really good. Because then it would mean that I get my next two spaces covered up. Hmm. Oh well, we'll see. We'll see how things shake out. That fence action might have been a mistake. Maybe I should have taken wood there instead, so that I only do one fence action total. Even with fence, it means farmers would be two, like two points, which is okay. With school lunch lady, farm school graduate, I don't need to worry about playing dead ox because they're not hard to play. And they give me a grain, which is good. Grain is food. There's two sheep gone, so I will be going on clay deposit. Or I could take wood again. I could take wood again, that would be okay. And then I would be able to starting player round 13 and play pole barns or plum patch either. Either would be okay. Def might have braggart. He might have braggart. That would explain Dragonfly Pond. Not explain it, but be would sort of be why he went out of his way to use it. Three wood. So I could always build stables instead of fencing again. I 
build three stables, one outside of the pasture. And then one more plow would activate my stone, my supervisor, but then what am I using my supervisor actions for? I would have put my point ceiling so low that probably would not have done anything for me. So. I'm sure weeds will starting pl will um, plow so deaf might plow so he might plow one field if he plow sows weeds might not plow one f no weeds will probably plow a field and get a stone he needs that next stone hmm I could take the stone if it's there for joinery. I will have two extra stone, so it would innate, it would give me another two point action. So I have a bunch of two point actions left, some three, but none amazing actions that are worth a lot more than that. Def plays his plow, so I imagine that weeds will plow so here. So I will probably two boar, two cattle. Two cattle would be a five point action. Might don't actually it'll only be a three point action. Yeah. Two cattle is only three points for me, but it's five points for everyone else. Mm. I don't know. I would be happy if John's War could starting player here. That would be, I would be happy with that. How many more plow actions am I likely to get? When I fence, I could fence, I've always assumed that I would fence internally, but I could fence like this, or I could fence like this externally, and then only need one more field. But I don't need to start, a, I don't want a starting player here. I have other stuff that I want to do. Two cattle worth it. Two cattle, then fence, then starting player pole barns. I really doubt starting player will get that far around, but it's possible. Grabbing wood, he needs a bunch of wood. He'll probably get it though. Hmm. Yeah, I would like John's ward as starting player, because then I don't have to. But if he doesn't, I will fence with this action and then starting player and play. Oh, there we go. Awesome. Starting player. Bakery. So John's War plays Bakery. Bakery is a card. Two clay, two stone. Really good with the iron plow. Kind of surprised he didn't take iron plow with Bakery. Although I guess he didn't have the opportunity to. He didn't know Bakery was out there until it was too late. Um, so I assume I'm going to get plow so. So that's good. So I will... fence and then my final action
I guess what's okay about this is I'll get to five cattle, so then taking one cattle will be a two-point action with Beastmaster. So I guess that this has been okay. Now if wild boar come back around, I'll take the two boar, but otherwise I'll probably end up going on clay deposit. Two boars still available. John's war could eat them, or eat one of them and keep the other one. Um, but otherwise, I'll grab the two boar. Although, are two boar worth anything to me? I can't hold any of their offspring. Yeah, okay. Maybe I don't take two boar, and I just uh, start clay depositing. A hard game. Hard to know what the right thing to do is. Oh, John's War plays Ninja. Very nice. Ninja is a great card. Great card. Let's you move on to an occupied action space once. So I imagine he goes on to plow so and then he'll definitely starting player with his next or family growth with his first action so then I'll get plow so hmm. so I go on clay deposit here Yeah, I like uh, John. I like John's Wars game. It's been really nice. Trailblazer is pretty good. He's got a nice big farm, lots of lots of points on it, which I cannot stay the same. Say the same. My second action will probably be starting player uh, plum patch. And then. Oh, I guess I have pole barns. Pole barns will give me room for breeding pair. So, yeah, second action pole barns. Because then if I get two sheep, I can let the sheep breed up. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's looking okay. I want to get to max points for my Beastmaster though. Even if Beastmaster is only worth one point, I would feel a little bit better about this game. This hasn't been, has not been a fantastic one. Not the most fantastic of games by me. All right, here I'm gonna starting player. a three point action so that's pretty cool that lets me hold some more animals so that I can take two sheep with my last action
So my last action will probably be to clay deposit. I could take a cattle, but cattle might be available for me next round where clay deposit will not be. So I think, or where I, yeah, I think I want to use clay deposit. I want to use clay deposit as often as possible. So I'll use the two stone I get from stone uh, custodian to play baker and then I bake two grain with my baker. So it's looking like Wood Hut Builder would have been worth a lot more than Beastmaster. Or maybe it wasn't Beastmaster that was my f the same pick in that pile. Because uh, it wasn't my, s I guess Wood Hut Builder was my seventh pick. Or was it in my first pile pack? It might have, oh no, Wood Hut Builder was in my first pack, right? I took Baker instead, right? That might have been the right decision. Uh, yeah, because Baker's going to let me do some cool stuff here, because they all probably think I'm going to beg, but then I'm going to play Baker and be like, ha ha ha. <laughs> yeah, so one sheep will be two points, one cattle will be two points. Um... Clay deposit will be two points, starting player will be three, family growth will be three. Farmer is best when you fence three times because, uh, like with uh, fence delivery men, because then you get a breeding pair of cattle out of it. I'm not that happy with how I've played. Not generally. So I'll play Baker. Um. So I lose a food, and then I harvest, and I can bake another grain here, and then one, two, three, four, five, bake on the baker, play then again at feeding phase. And cattle breed. That looks right. And I get a guest. Uh, so what do I want to do with my first action? I want to get three points. Oh, family growth. That seems okay. Then my second action will be plump patch starting player plum patch and get the rooster bonus point 
and then my third action and fourth action will be sheep and cattle and clay deposit, two of the three. So I think that's the latest I've ever seen Park Cemetery played. Normally it's played very early on, but uh, we managed to get all the stone off of it, so good for him. He played it really well. Played it really well. Gets three, four plows out of three actions, so it's good. What's really impressive is that he's been able to feed his family while pulling off Eris and getting four fields down. Now he doesn't have a lot of points from his improvements, but still, he's doing something. Yeah, this is a pretty poor farm. Um, don't really have any, I'm not maxed in anything. I'm in a wood house instead of a stone house. I do have the stone oven, which is something, and I'm gonna have five or seven bonus points, but don't really consider clay deposit bonus points because you had to use actions to do them. It's not like where some bonus points where it's like, oh, all the stuff you already did, here's some extra points for doing so. So Def does his final actions, ends with 43. I probably will be around there, maybe lower, maybe like 41. I don't know. Yeah. So Def didn't have, I wonder what his first pick was. I'll have to go back and look at the draft and see what everyone's drafts were. I, Nat Fisherman might have been Weed's first pick. Uh, Ninja was probably John's War's first pick. We'll have to see. Oh, Def never ended up playing Lord of the Manor. You can tell he was thinking about it with his three stone, three room house. Um, Social Climber was okay. I'm not sure if it was worth it for him. Might have been. I guess it let him feed and stuff. Big thing about Social Climber too. I guess it took pottery away from me. So that's something. So Weeds has been pretty slow. Yeah, 40 seconds per turn. Even Def was slow, 35 seconds a turn. I think Weeds has played a lot. He hasn't, I haven't seen him on the site for a while, but he used to play on here like a couple of years ago. Well, he played, he only played like 10 games in 2015. 
played a fair bit in 2014, so I'm sure I played with him back then. Yeah, I played with him a couple times. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, Flat Hill, nice. So John would have really liked to steal the, uh, he would have real, really liked to steal um, the spot for me. Um, I'm definitely going to play Beastmaster no matter what, right? It's going to be basically two food for a point. I guess I don't have to play Beastmaster. I may as well though. This blocks more stuff that other people want to do, so that's something. Yeah, yeah, playing Beastmaster there is okay. And then if John takes sheep, I clay deposit, but if he doesn't, I'll take sheep. Either is fine. So he takes sheep, I grab two points from my clay deposit. So then I eat two food then get a grain and bake for five and then I need to feed another two with the baked grain I'm gonna breed play this onto my farm which will give me a point so I'm going to have eight bonus points from what I have now 40. So I end up scoring 40. Not fantastic. It's okay, but not fantastic. So I think John's War will probably have enough to beat Def. I have to imagine. Yeah, he's got 40 already and then, what, two points from Bakery? One point from Bakery, one from Bread Machine. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, 43 might have been enough to win. Yeah, so I'm three points off winning, so I mean that's another, well it's another two actions, I shouldn't say it's another one action, it's another two or three actions. Um, Ah. <sighs> 
I probably should have taken iron plow instead of whatever I took. So what could I have done differently? Probably lots of stuff. I'll take a look at how my draft was. Take a look at the draft of the other players. Uh, so I end up scoring 40, Def has 43, and then Weeds and Johns were both at 42. So we're all within three points. I, of course, came in last. Um, I mean renovating to clay or playing wood hut if I had wood hut builder instead of Yeah, if I had wood wood hut builder and uh instead of Beastmaster, that would have been three points, and then uh, I could have taken sheep instead of cattle. So, oh well, that happens. Sometimes you have games like that where everything is just super hard, and uh, it's not really clear why. Oh well, GG. Def is good. He got first family growth. Um, always very good to have. A little surprised that Weeds didn't have a higher score, but I guess he doesn't have any, almost any minor points. But he has, like, his crop score is way better than mine. Yeah, I really did not have that strong of a game. So the question is, um, is it that I screwed up the execution or that what I set out to do from the beginning was not really viable? I'm not sure. Probably when I took one, I took one grain once. That's not a great action. I took two clay once. I didn't reno. So that's, that's pretty big. Mm. All right, I'll take a look at this draft. Mm. Where is the draft writer? Where did Chris put it? Um, strategy. Here we go. And then automated post writer. Excellent. Ag slash agricola slash draft. Okay, cool. So game number uh, 273. So let's take a look at, uh, so my first pick, um, school lunch lady, about five points in point five behind Lord of the Manor. This card used to be crazy strong. Um, I remember when it first came out, it had a power of like five or something, up well above five. So interesting to note trailblazers power is also equal to lord of the manor so i did not take the best card by power uh, and lord of the manor is even picked ahead of school lunch lady hmm. next card i took farm school graduate with my second pick social climber is a better card by power and average draft position it's the second best card in the pack by power 
So I guess I played all seven occupations, but they might not have actually been all that strong compared to Def, who only played two of his. Mm. And then I took Supervisor, only has a power of one, yeah. So maybe Supervisor is not very strong. So this is probably my big mistake here. Master Stableman instead of Supervisor. Or even Gardner's Wife, mm, not Gardner's Wife, I think Master Stableman. Yeah. I took a one power card with my third action. So maybe Supervisor is not as good as uh, as thought. I mean, I only got one action out of it. So, I mean, I saw firsthand that it cannot be really all that good. All right, uh, Farmer, best card by power and draft position, so not really too concerned about that. And then I took Baker, which was the best card by power, and a little behind Herdsman, which did not get played. So here's where I could have taken Wood Hut Builder. I think Baker was probably an okay play. Two Bakes at the end of the game. Yeah, it was probably an okay play. Mm, and then I took Beastmaster, two points behind Burger Flipper. Um, I don't think I would have played Burger Flipper. I did Traveling Players twice. Mm. Tavern Keeper is much better by power, but uh, Tavern Keeper would have only procced once and I had other cards giving me grain, so I'm okay with that pick. And then I took Stone Custodian over Gym Trainer. I didn't even get to a fourth, fifth person until the end of the game, so I'm happy with Jim Trainer. Mm -hmm. And then here, looking at this pick, Dragonfly Pond and Writing Desk are both re rated a lot better than Clay Deposit. Okay, Dragonfly Pond's a little awkward timed with Farm School Graduate, but I can see now that it's a way better card, and Writing Desk as well. But again, Farm School Graduate. Now the thing is, if I had taken the better card over Farm School Graduate, then I would have taken Writing Desk here, and Writing Desk probably would have been been strong. And then I take Tuileries Garden, 0 0.3 power, or 0.7 power behind Farm Stable. Farm Stable's free point. So yeah, again, if I'd taken Master Stableman, I'd take Farm Stable here instead, instead of the unplayed Tuileries Garden. I take Plum Patch here, which is the highest card by power, so I'm sort of okay with that. Although, considering that I have Supervisor, I probably should have taken Iron Plow. Imagine if I'd Iron Plowed the one field instead of. I would have had a bunch more grain points. And I would have had Field Supervisor activated a lot earlier. Yeah. Okay. That might have been a mistake, I'm not sure. And Pump Patch is good, but yeah. And here I take Ceramics. Uh, whistle is better by power. Again, if I'd taken Master Stableman, I definitely would have taken Whistle. Um, whistle would have been good because I Master Stableman to get four stables, and then if I have a breeding pair of sheep, and then I'm getting another sheep with Whistle, would have been pretty strong. Ceramics was okay. I did not get pottery, of course, and I really pushed it out. Like I pushed the rest of the clay oven pretty hard to get ceramics out, so that that play failed. And then here took rooster. Rooster looks pretty good by power, very interesting. And then uh, coke stove. I wouldn't have played any of the cards in here. And then pole barns. I'm sort of okay with. All right, so this was an okay game. Um, Mm. Two seven three seven seven three. Let's look at what take a look at what Def's unplayed cards were. So he first picked gluten free baker. That's hilarious. That's my card. His first pile was crap. Best card by power was farmer. Best card by draft position was gluten free baker. This is a crappy hand. Crappy, crappy, crappy starting hand here.
Yeah, so this is actually my gluten free baker's my card that I suggested. I, it's not going to get published as is. I think there's a minor improvement that's going to be kind of similar where you can turn um, a vegetable into two grain whenever you bake bread. Uh, and then he took Lord of the Manor, no surprise, social climber, master stable, men, mendicant. Yeah, so Def probably drafted a lot better. He took oh, was always taking the best cards by power. Here, Shipyard, best card by power. Dragonfly Pond, uh, not as good as Rooster or Writing Desk, interestingly enough. Um, Farm Stable, best card by power. Iron Plow over Bread Machine and Park Cemetery, okay. Iron Plow, yeah. Haystack over Bakery or Country Silo, or Bakery over Whistle, Bakery or Whistle. Yeah, hmm. And then, uh, can take a look at, uh, was it, not John's War, who was the other player just played? It was John's War that I just played with, okay. Defense dealer first pick, ninja second pick. Ninja was the best card by far in the draft, 5.4 power. I would have really liked ninja. Not sure how it interacts with farm school, school graduate, but yeah. Took academic here. That seems crazy to me. I guess the rest of the cup pile was pretty bad. First pick cooking corner. Best card by power aside from farm stable. And then herb garden. Plum patch is rated a lot higher. Surprised you didn't play take plum patch. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really that sold on any of these. Not really sure. I I definitely made some mistakes, and that would have changed the draft quite a bit. So now here, weeds took net fisherman over ninja. That's crazy. He wouldn't have won the game if he had done that. Took branch collector here. And the was pretty weak. He took Eris. I Eris was is fine. It can be really good. He took Woodworker, Woodbuyer, Woodworker and Woodbuyer, and then Pawnbroker. Interesting. Mm, Goose Pond. Supply Exchange. Kids Corner. Yeah. You want to talk about mistakes? Drafting. Net Fisherman over Ninja, that is a mistake. That is a mistake. Anyways, I think I'm going to post this draft on the forums um, with some of my thoughts. Um, I would be interested to hear. Um, I'm going to be interested to hear what other people think about how it was. Yeah, anyways, uh, that's going to be the end of the video here. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you have anything, uh, get in touch with me, leave a comment on the video or whatever. Um, yeah, that's all for now. Thanks. See you later.